<laughs> the thing is, like, yeah. like he has no shame saying that, but he's like worried about coming across as a little gay. <laughs> the thing that's amazing about him is that he I mean, like comedy. I mean, I meant like uh, you're. I mean, you're not that far off from like the average barstool watcher, in my opinion. Not all of them are like frat bros. We're like, Ugh. yeah. Like people would assume I'm closer to the audience than you are, but I think you're closer. Oh no, definitely I'm like closer the, to you resemble like the, sure. the average Barstool fan more than I do. And I don't know shit about sports. That's probably the no, other you know more about video games. And video stuff. games and anime and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Why well, I mean Who's this guy? I'm new to the community. What's the best video to show you to this community in your mind? Uh, I don't know. Uh all right, let's find I got one. Hold on. Um The Breakfast Sandwich. Wait, no, I'm gonna sh no, I'm showing Dave Portnoy. Oh yeah, yeah. Dave Portnoy on taps. Um <coughs> are we gonna do director's commentary? Wow, that that's what you want. have you ever had gay thoughts? Yeah. That's a good one. That was a good question. I, I like this is uh, I love the aesthetic, by the way. Uh, the Adam Friedland show yeah, is pretty we, good. We uh it's like a fact like a recreation of the Dick Cavett show set. I don't even know. I don't know what that is. Dick Cavett, he was this talk show host in the 70s. He had a lot. Of, it, he wasn't very funny, but he had a lot of these like amazing interviews with like like Alfred Hitchcock and John Lennon. And like, you know, it was like it was kind of like a, we kind of wanted to have like a, it that aesthetic. But like in the voice in the voice of how stupid Nick and I are. So that was kind of like, yeah, yeah so it's like a 70s talk show set kind of. Vibe. It's pretty good. Yeah. Have you read Gay Thoughts? Have I had gay thoughts? We all have. No, I, I don't think really. No, we all have for like a second. No, I don't. For one second, you have a gay thought. I'm the straightest guy ever. Oh, I've never had a gay thought. Oh, care I, I, I do not recall having <laughs> You're gay saying thoughts. you never had one gay thought? I, I, okay. I, I was with the Matthew McConaughey you... today. I didn't have a gay thought. <laughs> all yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> well Wait, played. The way you guys talk about Brady. I love little, Brady. It's a little gay, no? No, no, it isn't. Oh, you guys are like Tom. He's the most handsome. Oh, oh my God! Well, you can say guys, good looking. I, I said his kid had a huge cock, not him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you know about this? You know I, about I this found article? out. I found from out about this, this from this from clip. This. Okay, so the article <laughs> is so funny. I I should have had pull quotes like on the cards, and I'm so pissed I didn't have them. But the way he talks about that infant's penis. <laughs> it's like that's what goats do like they make big dick babies <laughs> like they're just it's insane it is yeah and he's like yeah it's the most blown out of proportion thing of all time and i, was, I think i, I you think know what say something is. like you can't even compliment a, a child's penis anymore <laughs> <laughs> the thing is like yeah like, he has no shame saying that, but he's, like, worried about coming across as a little gay. The thing that's amazing <laughs> about him is that he is clearly somewhat, where, I don't know, I asked him this and he didn't, he didn't agree with this. But I feel like he's someone his entire life where, like, dweebs and know-it-alls have been, like, actually, actually, you're wrong. Actually, you suck. And I think he has, there's something about his psychology that's just, like, where he's just, uh, like, uh, basically like unfazed by it or like fuck you to all of it where he now has 700 million dollars you know what i mean like, <laughs> well I, it, but like uh that's the way so he can crazy shield himself how... whether it's insecurity or not insecurity or whatever it is i think that spite is obviously a lot large part of it he has a long shit list obviously uh -huh. but um but yeah the way that it's clear that like nerds and know-it-alls have been like you don't know what you're doing it, probably his entire life. And he's like, no, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's I, resulted in. But it, like most of that is just like eating pizza, right? Isn't that his like most famous thing? No, no. I mean, well, he's created a platform. Well, here's the thing, right? Like most people just like beer and boobs and uh, football, right? Like we can like <laughs> scoff at it, but that's what most people. Like, yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> that's what most people like. So he made a thing of first. What I mean, it's like okay, he made a hamburger, and the hamburger tastes good to most people. Yeah, no, you he's I mean? he's the Taylor Swift of guy. Most of them, most of the people are subscribed. Okay, a lot of people don't subscribe. see it. Like international audiences usually don't see it. What is this? Ten, ten, nine, ten. Oh, uh, segue. They rate my segue. They rate your like how how I, I baited them. Just now, I snuck the ad break in, so they rate it, and then there's a bot in the chat that calculates. Do you think so, so do you think they like each other more than they like you? Who? 
Like, this is their community, right? The chat, like, it's the, these are all their friends. They'll stuff. say yes, probably. You think people have hooked up? Yeah. You think people have met in the chat? and then 100%. You think people have smashed off this? 100%. That, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Let's see. That's, wait, hold that's up. That's something to be proud of, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so this bot, uh, I got a... Uh, 320 chatters rated the ad break and it and the segue averaged uh, 8.46 out of 10. Not bad. And so there's a bot that just immediately calculates. Yeah. It. Wait, can uh ask the chat, has anyone gotten uh any sex from uh being in this chat? Bro, they're gonna lie. It's anonymous online. So what but yeah, I I'm telling you, yes. Me, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay, so none of them have. Yeah. So, so <laughs> a stripper gave a lap dance to a chatter, both fans. Yeah, that's true. That happened. And then everybody fucking canceled me and yelled at me for that reason. Why? But she's that's her job, isn't it? Yeah, but that's like but people were like oh, upset cuz they were like, "Oh, sex work is not Oh, it should be she should get socialist. compensated." Well, she was, but they were oh, like she was compensated. No, there's like a lot of people who are just like sex work is bullshit. Uh, oh, I don't, don't want to chime in on that at all yeah don't you don't want you I'm don't want that fucking schmuck i don't you're gonna get here's what i have to think you're gonna get like uh taylor swift style anger if you say the wrong thing it's really nice to uh to not to to just be like oh i'm i have uh i don't know <laughs> this guy is really nice yeah you know yeah i don't have to know anything anymore <laughs> it's kind of nice <laughs> that's I'm, why i think i like the interviews because i don't really know i I just do research for a week, and then yeah. I like find out a couple things, but I don't really know anything. I mean, and then you, I'm like, I just want to find out what kind of guy it is. Who's your favorite interview so far? Um, I loved well, Jadakiss. Like, the in the interview itself, uh huh. Like doing the interview or what it ended up being. And what it ended up being first. Um, I think the show is really good. I think it just keeps. I think. Like the last. Oh no! I meant after months. the aftermath of the interview. I meant like the poor Noi one was like I thought it was going terrible the whole time. Oh no! It was great. But then we worked really hard on it and made it made it you know got got all the good stuff out of it, like squeezed all the good stuff out of it. How was he? What was he like in real life? I think he just had never had a concept of a like that a, a, guy, a person a guy like me. I think <laughs> he, when he saw me, he's like, "That's what a, a gay ner nerd is." And, and then, then you were I like, but I'm a cool but guy. But I knew more about sports than him. And he owns a company called Sports. That's so, true. <laughs> so it was like, oh, so you know. I think I blew his mind. I think he was expecting the, it to be like, oh, I'm going to talk to this. You probably this are. Classes gay nerd. You probably are closer to his like median watcher than he thinks. Than a barstool guy. I don't know. I, I don't know what, what they look like. I don't know. I know some of the guys that work there that are like do some of the shows there. Yeah. That, no, but I mean like comedy. I mean, I meant like uh, you're. I mean, you're not that far off from like the average barstool watcher, in my opinion. Not all of them are like frat bros. We're like, Ugh. yeah. Like people would assume I'm closer to the audience than you are, but I think you're closer. Oh no, definitely. I'm like the, to you resemble like the, sure. the average Barstool fan more than I do, and I don't know shit about sports. That's probably the no, other. You know more about video games, and video stuff. games and anime and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I mean, who's this guy? I'm new to the community. What's the best video to show you to this community in your mind? Uh, I don't know. Uh, all right, let's find. I got one. Hold on. Um, the breakfast sandwich. Wait, no, I'm gonna. Sh <laughs> no, I'm showing Dave Portnoy. Oh yeah, yeah. Dave Portnoy on taps. Um, <coughs> are we gonna do director's commentary? Wow, that's that's you, have you ever had gay thoughts? Yeah, that's a good one. That was a good question. I like this. Is, uh, I love the aesthetic, by the way. The Adam Freeland show yeah, is pretty good. We, we uh, it's like a fact, like a recreation of the Dick Cavett show set. I don't even know. I don't know what that is. Dick Cavett, he was this talk show host in the seventies. He had a lot. Of, he wasn't very funny, but he had a lot of these like amazing interviews with like. Like Alfred Hitchcock and John Lennon, and like you know, it was like it was kind of like uh, we kind of wanted to have like a uh, it that aesthetic, but like in the voice in the voice of how stupid Nick and I are. So that was kind of like yeah, yeah. So it's like a seventies talk show set kind of vibe. It's pretty good. Yeah. Have you had gay thoughts? Have I had gay thoughts? We all have. 
No, I, I don't think really. No, we all have for like a second. No, I don't. For one second, you have a gay thought. I'm the straightest guy ever. Oh, I've never had a gay thought. Oh, Carol, I, I, I do not recall having <laughs> You're gay saying thoughts. you never had one gay thought? I, I, okay. I, I was with the Matthew McConaughey you... today. I didn't have a gay thought. <laughs> all yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> well Wait, played. The way you guys talk about Brady. It's I a love little, Brady. It's a little gay, no? No, it no. isn't. Oh, you guys are like Tom. He's the most handsome. Oh, oh my God. Well, you can say guys are good looking. I said, his kid, big... I said his kid had a huge cock, not him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you know about this? You know I, about I this found article? out. I found from out about this, this from this from clip. This. <laughs> okay, so the article is so funny. I I should have had pull quotes like on the cards, and I'm so pissed I didn't have them. But the way he talks about that infant's penis, <laughs> is, it's like that's what goats do. Like they make <laughs> big dick babies. <laughs> like they're just, it's insane. It is. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, it's the most blown out of proportion thing of all time. And I, was, I think I, I you think know I what say something is? like you can't even compliment a, a child's penis anymore. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, like, yeah. like he has no shame saying that, but he's like worried about coming across as a little gay. The thing that's <laughs> amazing about him is that he is clearly someone. Where I don't know. I asked him this, and he didn't. He didn't agree with this, but I feel like he's someone his entire life where like dweebs and know it alls have been like actually actually you're wrong actually you suck and i think he has there's something about his psychology that's just like where he's just uh like uh basically like unfazed by it or like fuck you to all of it where he now has 700 million dollars you know what i mean like, <laughs> well with I, it, but like uh that's the way so he can crazy shield himself how... whether it's insecurity or not insecurity or whatever it is i think that spite is obviously a lo large part of it he has a long shit list obviously uh -huh. but um but yeah the way that it's clear that like nerds and know-it-alls have been like you don't know what you're doing it, it, probably his entire life and he's like no fuck you yeah <laughs> and it's I, resulted in I, but it, like most of that's just like eating pizza right isn't that his like most famous thing no no i mean well he's created a platform well here's the thing right like most people just like beer and boobs and uh football right like, we can, like, <laughs> scoff at it, but that's what most people... Like, yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> that's what most people like. So he made a thing of first... What, I mean, it's like, okay, he made a hamburger, and the hamburger tastes good to most people. Yeah, no, you know he's, I mean? he's the Taylor Swift of guys. Massive fan, too. He's like... A oh, huge, he loves Taylor Swift? He, yeah, he had a jacket that he sent to every concert or something. He's like, I'm a fucking Swifty. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I'm a fucking Swifty. I love Taylor <laughs> He just like got mad at me. Wait, yeah. read, read, read what he said. Just, just swinging <laughs> low like a boss. That's what MVP QBs do. They impregnate <laughs> chicks and give birth to big dick kids. <laughs> That's so sick. P.S. So the no, mom's ass ain't bad either. The confidence of the person that writes that sentence, I'm jealous of, right? I'm not saying that I'm not saying that I listen it, it is important and and crazy to put that on the internet but the amount of self-confidence that it requires to just hit send or publish he, on something like that is like I, you know what I it, can't I, you know I'm what like, it is wow I wish I was that free I, I you know what it is I think like he has um I like to call it like a like a level of grime protection where he's so gross that like you expect him to be gross, right? So there's not really anything he can do that'll get him get his fan base to be like, no, fuck that. That's too that's too far. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I, I'm done with you. Fuck uh -huh. that. So like he can basically say whatever the fuck he wants, and I think. And I don't even think he's aware of that. Or maybe he is. I don't I know. I think that, no. What, he's, what he does is he's really good at, when I, and I said in the interview to him, but he's good at creating like a narrative, right? Like I just picked my nose a little bit and 30, 25,000 people saw that. I just went like this and they mm -hmm. saw that. Uh-huh. Insane, dude. Well, tw uh, 90,000. Do ass on this? Well, yeah, but they can't hear it. They can't hear it? Yeah. My, uh, my girlfriend was working from home the other day. I got a noise gate. I literally, I didn't realize how, I think I fart a hundred times a day. I think I fart one. She was like, how many it's times do you good. think you fart? I think, I think it's 100 Bro, times Bro, stop. Are you lactose I intolerant? Everything. But wait. That's why. But I think the thing stop is, drinking no, milk. Like, 
he knows like when he's got like a hot one. Like uh, he like protested at the NFL offices like Deflate Gate or something. Oh yeah. And he knew that the like that the commissioner was taking it too seriously and it was gonna bite. It was gonna end up biting the NFL in the ass. So he just pushed it harder and harder. Because he's he's like a uh, like a he's carnival barker kind of thing. Yeah, there's a skill to what he does. It's like I mean, like I'm not like I, I that's how I understand like uh, no 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 for that sure guy's success. You know, no, he's definitely he's definitely hundred farts is crazy. How about you? How about you shut up yeah, before you, you walk him. a mile in my shoes? <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that definitely. Like he has something. He is the exact opposite of me in every the sense no of the word. No socks, the white pants, the chain. I mean, like just the the swinging low like a boss. <laughs> I just mean like he's off. Like he could do whatever the fuck he wants. Sometimes yeah. I get like a little I, a, a little jealous of dudes who could just like say whatever the fuck they want, and even if it gets misconstrued, it doesn't matter because like to his target demo, absolutely zero fucking people care. They're like, yeah. no, you're a god, and also. And the inverse of it is also, like, when he'll say something that's, like, marginally good. Yeah. Like, he'll just be like, yeah, I, I like Bernie Sanders. Like, yeah, you know, no, I got to do it like, towards Medicare yeah. for all. Like, when, when he said that on your on your interview, like, yeah. I know for a fact that all of the people that normally would hate him hear that and go, oh, see, he's actually kind of a good guy. It's like, you of, want him to be a good guy in your like mind. What, what it was like Bernie doing Rogan, right? It was like, it ended up being like he's just talking to other a bigger audience, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Whatever. I mean, but what, but, wait, what do I, what does he say after that? Like, it's the most blown out. Of, How many people true. you got back there? We have th two camera ops, three camera ops. God damn. That's yeah, no, like, we have people like we have like, and then we have someone running in, uh, running the sound and, uh, in the like edit bay, like, uh, Adam Ginsburg, our editor, shout out to him. Uh huh. I, don't I know. have I have one on my on my pod. We have like a when we shoot, we have people there, and like it's it's kind of like on my pod. We have uh, we have just my co-hosts, and then we have a producer who like runs the cameras and everything. Who's that? But the cameras Destiny? are stable. Destiny is that your co-host? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not at all. Wait, no, it's wait, Will can you and explain to me who Destiny is. <laughs> he's like um, he's like an intellectual debater. I wouldn't, he, but I wouldn't he's like, say, but he's I wouldn't moderate. say he's a, I wouldn't say he's an intellectual. He's a moderate, but his whole thing is that he's like, how about you come over and debate my ass? <laughs> he's like, why don't you come? Yeah. Why don't you come yeah. down and no, down this ring and debate my ass? Like, I, I saw a thumbnail on Twitter and I think it like perfectly explains like what he does. It was, uh, I mean, he's, he's insane. His, his subreddit will go crazy after this. Really? Now that you mention it. Yeah. They like cyber stalk me. Uh, they Olymp hate you. Yeah, like an Olympic I don't know sport. who he is, and I'm more on Destiny's side than Hassan's. I just want to say. <laughs> he is, he's I'm, a center-left podcaster. But I'm center-left, okay? Yeah, no, for years, like, he wrote, like, a manifesto about being able to say the N-word as a white guy. Mm-hmm. And like debated a it. Manifesto. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> a straight manifesto. Up. Straight up straight up like a manifesto. <laughs> Maestro. And then for years they were like uh -huh. huh, Hassan is friends with the guys on Come Town and they say the N-word all the time. It's mm -hmm. quite it's like they always look for all the time. Yeah, all the time. They look yeah. for hypocrisy. Like hypocrisy. that's their thing. They're oh, like yeah, yeah. like isn't that hypocritical? Oh, those kind of guys. Yeah, yeah there oh, is so those Reddit. So it's just Reddit. Oh yeah, no, no. It's, it's just the Reddit. most Reddit person. But the thumbnail yeah. I saw was like a like a perfect example of how like what his content looks like. No, not this. <laughs> what is this? No, this is they're debating With Glenn? January 6th or something with the Crass and Steam Brothers against Glenn Greenwald, Alex Jones, and... Is that real? I don't even know who the... F yeah, that seems. looks so fire. No. We gotta go to that. No, no. The thumbnail I saw on Twitter I was go like... Sell, sell fake Molly in the parking lot for that. Yeah. The, the thumbnail I saw on Twitter was like debating my ex-wife on whether she was faithful or not. Mm. <laughs> and it was like... Mm. That's like the perfect depiction of yeah. like the type of content. And it like everyone Wait, takes is it... is that real? So is that real? He really yeah. did that? He debated his ex-wife. Yeah, it's like, but like his <laughs> fan base takes it so seriously. They're like, yeah, this is like, right. this is exactly what Socrates right. would have done mm -hmm. <laughs> type yes. of shit. Yeah, the, the manifesto. Yeah, they, he would write like, <laughs> like modern day Plato. Yeah. Modern day Plato is reading Wikipedia pages and like debating the faithfulness of uh -huh. his ex-wife. Yeah. <laughs> after their public divorce. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I felt really bad for the guy that got caught 
um, well, with the porn in his tab of the deep fake. Oh, Atrioc. Yeah, I felt really. He's bad actually. For that. It's, it's his like wife interesting... had to be sitting there, and yeah. I was Nick and I watched that video like ten times. It's... That's kind of when I found out Twitch wasn't wasn't video games. I was like, "What is?" I thought it was video games. It's I was bad. like, "I thought Hassan was doing it's Nazi bad. zombie Call of Duty no. for the kids." No, no, there's definitely Big A. So, so that's Atrioc. He's actually he's a nice guy. He's actually a nice guy. Like, I mean, you know, sometimes. Nice guys do really fucked up shit, you know. It, he's yeah, he's a uh, atoned for it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His but wife, his wife had. But I'll tell you this much: like now that I brought <laughs> but, him but up, that's what I mean. It's just like the fact that his wife was sitting there, and but it was an apology to the audience, right? Yeah, it wasn't really an apology to his wife. Well, it was he also should, it should it be to the apology. other lady and to his wife, right? Isn't it? Just it was his an apology wife? to his audience, and also like it was a public apology to all the girls that were on the AI porn website. To every single girl. Well, kind of, Did yeah. Did he do the whole list of every girl he watched? <laughs> no, but also Dame like... Dame Judi Dench. No. Susan Sarandon. <laughs> no, but he knows he knows all of them. You know what I mean? So it's like So they're up. all celebrities from Twitch as well. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say we're celebrities. I'm getting... I shouldn't bring that up. That's your, like, world. Yeah. You can say some shit. I'll, I'll spill tea on the world of... Um, I don't even know what I have to tell you. What? I don't know. Nothing. I mean, it's cool to you like see. Living in LA, you don't really live in LA. You kind of this is this room, kind of. I do live in this. What do you room, do yeah. at night? Yeah, work out. Uh, I work out in the morning. I work out in the morning. What time then, do you go to bed? Um, like around eleven. Eleven, and then you get up six thirty, seven. Yeah, six thirty-seven. Yeah. So you're eight hours every night. Skincare or no? No. No. So you what? Beat off. Go to sleep. Uh huh. Wake up six thirty. Lift. Yeah. Post on Twitter. I'm about to go live. Yeah. S and then get in the fucking matrix. Yeah. Pretty Put much. Put the fucking thing in the back of your head. Yeah. That's I mean, it. It, if it's good though, I I like it. I I like like when I'm here, yeah. I'm on. You know what I mean? And everything else is quiet. I like it. Yeah, but your kid is fucking in the other room. Like, uh, he's dead. <laughs> I don't have a kid. <laughs> His kid. Did you guys know that his kid is I, dead? I have a dead kid. <laughs> He's got a dead kid. I have a dead kid. child in the other room. And he does everything for you people. It's your yeah. fault. Yeah. It's like that scene in... Uh, oh as my, my as my child. What, if, what? Doesn't he need a walk? No, I walk or I... They I, allow for a walk for the dog. No. Thank you. No, no, no. So what happens is... Well, she's chill as hell, so that's cool. Uh, I, you, she I work her... No, no. I work her out in the morning... No, she's very well trained. I work her out in the morning. Starting and strength I, kind? What? Starting strength style? Mark, well, Mark well, uh, I, the gym I go to, yeah. my, my trainer has a has a dog too. Oh, sick. So they just like duke it out for like an hour they and a half. They just hang out. Yeah, they hang yeah. out. They like wrestle. And then, and then they're fine. And then she's fine for like the rest of the day. And then I take her out on a big, uh, take her out on a big walk. At six or so. What time? After the stream. Tonight. Yeah. Oh, word. Yeah, my dog needs my dog would be annoying as fuck if I was doing this all day. Really? Yeah. What do you well, what do you She'd be like getting on me and stuff? She not like pit bulls like put all their like Yeah, yeah, yeah. put everything on you? No, she's super chill. She's Ooh. so nice. Look at that face. Yeah. Oh my god, a little s Oh my god. Who have you had on this? Like who's the biggest person you've had? You had Christian Walker on it. I, I had Grimes that. on. You had who? Grimes? Grimes. Yeah. Did you debate her? Did you <sighs> a little bit? You dominated her. I little I've owned her. Did no, she, I don't. I don't really just, do. Debate. I saw on Twitter. Wait, what's she my, just what, tweeted she's a Nazi I, or something. No? Yeah. No, she was like. I love white. I love being white, white being white or something. I've had Marianne Williamson <laughs> on. Oh, you did? Yeah. In this room? Yeah. Was she nice? Yeah, she was really nice. She probably she probably was the shit. I've had I've had Eva Elfie on. You know who that is? Porn star. Really? Yeah. You, um, have, you, you have sex in front of these kids? Wh no. <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> that's crazy. implied nudity. That's implied nudity. Of no, course. no, that's not implied in nudity. That's straight nudity. Minecraft. <laughs> um, who else have I had on? I mean, I've had on a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. I have Adam, Adam Conover on all the time. Adam ruins everything? Yeah, Adam ruins everything. Does he ruin your stream? No, he's actually like... <laughs> I always I thought he used to be a goober, but like he's he's gotten really into. I mean, he's a he's big labor the, leader into the strike. 
yeah, the yeah, writers. Yeah. yeah. The writers. I was I was loving the writers' strike. <laughs> Why? Because we were the last selling. television show. Yeah, left. you're selling your scripts. We no, we own the we own the mean no the Adam Freeland show. We we don't have a, a studio. We own the means of production. The means of production. What are you? Yeah. I'm fucking Leon Trotsky. Pretty much. Pretty much. Young Trotsky. I you I, know I I, I gamed a T pain. You gamed a T pain? Yeah. Did you see him singing for real the other day? I did. Tennessee whiskey. But oh I, I knew he had a I knew he had a, a we all beautiful knew voice. Because we all saw the tiny desk of him doing it. And it was stunning. Yeah, he's he's stunning. Have you seen the picture of young Trotsky and young uh Stalin and it's just me and Nick? I have not. Yeah, look at young Trotsky. It's just a picture of me. It's cute. Yeah, there. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My with my old hair. Yeah. And yeah. Look at young young Stalin as Nick. Where is the? Let's see. If look up young Stalin. I, mean, I know what young Stalin looks like. Everyone always says I look He's like a, young Stalin. Oh, now you're getting pissed. Now I'm getting pissed. Yeah. What do you mean, Nick? Yeah, it's kind of Nick. It's kind of you. I don't know. I don't know. Many people are saying I look more like him than Nick, but yeah, because these people all want to f- wear your skin. <laughs> they all want to. Fair. <laughs> they love you. I like I like putting Ofer Kasif and Tadek on here. How am I going to describe who Tadek is to to Adam? I don't know. What yeah, they're like uh, they're is, is he's a Turkish American Valorant player. Oh, he doesn't do what's that sport? The Turkish sport, the like where it's oil like wrestling, men, the wrestling style, oil wrestling, oil wrestling. Can yeah. we watch some of that? You want to watch some? Well, this, I mean, it's. I don't know if we can watch it. That's that's. It's not. That's sex. cutting it close. That's cutting it close on the gay stuff. What do you mean gay I stuff? Mean, it's it's like, a sport. We're watching a sport. It's gay as hell. You don't watch sports. Maybe you should get more into sports. This is the only sport this I watch. This is the most popular sport in Turkey. No. Today, this the is Thracian the number Turks one sport. No. Confined it to is a small region around it is a national. Th- but they're still fiercely attached to the traditions it is a national past from their past. That is true. For example, Dude, traditional Turkish wrestling. Every year, the big street. annual tournament is held in Kirk Whoa, Pinar I, Stadium I, just I, outside I, the city. I, the Turkish word Yadli Guresh means sad. fighting with oil. I'm sad that there's no audio. Our tournament is the most famous so tournament. So in t- Wait, we can't. I can't Look hear how big it. these men's Oh, people are saying it's loud. Wait, why can people hear it, but we can't? Dude, you broke it. Oh, you guys can hear it. Hold on. I wish I could. Oh, hear it. hold up here. Wow. How'd you do that? Wait, I gotta pee real quick. All right, go pee. Yeah, yeah. Get your fucking stopwatches out. Uh, where's your bathroom? Uh, first left. Uh, the the mic got or the the noise. The thing got unplugged. We're back. The Greeks didn't influence your food. They influenced your sports. True. Not the mic. The speakers, but it's not even... Ah, dude, shut up. My brain is not working. I stopped sending me uh, moments from today. The Thracian Turks are confined to. Oh, this is sick. Okay. Are you ready for the sh- Reddit shit storm that this is going to come? Okay. Everybody fucking calm down. You guys make a bigger deal out of this. Okay. Like, please stop. Fuck the Reddit shit storm. Who cares? Please not that serious like I, I i let me let me have fun without fucking worrying about drama no it's just like they're they just are worried that like the eight hours of videos about how i mentioned him because every time i mention his name he makes like three youtube videos that are like four hours well, long. i as a as a friend and admirer of his yeah i i'm t- attempting to bridge the gap no he's still gonna no matter really yeah well 
on listen, I stand for nothing. I I'm very much offensive when it 20, comes to everything. One minute and twenty five seconds. One minute twenty five seconds. No, I had talked to my girlfriend a little bit about whether when she wants to get dinner. No, oh, okay. Yeah. So guess what, guys? I was talking to a chick. Um, Pretty cool. Also, I want to say something. What, like Hassan? Let's say, and I was thinking of this while I was peeing. Uh-huh. It had nothing to do with the fact that I was looking at my. Pe- <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but let's say you like, you know, you're at a coffee shop or something, right? And you just make eye contact, and it's the most, it's the love of your life, mm-hmm. right? And then, and then she's like. Do you want to go to the Runyon Canyon hike tomorrow? No. They would get mad at you if you went on a date. And yeah. let's say it could have been the woman you married. No, I mean, I take time off. You take time off. Yeah. I I, I, I just want to say to them. Someone said one eighteen twenty eight in case Adam is interested. What is that? Your piss arm. Oh, thank you. Oh, p- point two eight. Great. Mm-hmm. One eighteen twenty eight. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. I got it. Very cool. I take um, time off. We are insufferable when he takes time off. Yeah, they are insufferable. They are. Yeah, they're like You know baby. what it is? It's like the Rick and Morty. Remember when they didn't have the sauce? The Rick and Morty sauce at McDonald's and that, that boy is throwing the tantrum? Pull that yeah, up. Yeah, they're like that. Pull that up. They act like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> they're like the, uh, the 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 pickle Rick. The Rick and Morty McDonald's. Oh, God. Rick and Morty, another incredibly Reddit. Yes, this kid. <laughs> this is how they act when, you go on, when you're on a date with a girl. I want sexual sauce. Where's my sexual sauce? I can't go Rick. What the love dog dog? I can't go Rick. 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 I can't go Rick. 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 It's pretty funny. That guy's cool. He never to <laughs> ran out of there. That guy's cool. Probably went to back that's to how. his hot girlfriend's house. Yeah, that's how they. Look that's at that, how they look at that mom shielding her child. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Shield. Please, <laughs> please, my son, do not look. Yeah. Do not look at, at the psycho. Hassan is lying. He streamed 352 days last year. Shit. No. Yeah. Pretty much average. Oh, wow. Average stream time is like seven, eight hours every day. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you feel like, you know, like uh, in Malcolm Gladwell sense, you've hit your 1,000 hours. Do you feel like you're a... Uh, oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're 10,000 hours, so now you're an expert. I'm an expert in now you're ex- <laughs> I'm an expert in the dumbest thing. <laughs> it's cool. I, I think it's cool. I just think these people need to be nicer and not time your peas. That's well, no way it's to not treat my- a, a gorgeous man like this. That's that's no way to treat him. My hero as well. It's, it's not I'm even. Lo- I'm much it's like it's you not guys. my fan base uh, as much that is like annoying. Even though they do get annoying sometimes, it's more so like in the periphery. There's like a lot of there's like a orbiters who are like looking to pounce. You know what I mean? Any time uh-huh. and every time. There's like a lot of those dudes on on. You know, there's a lot of dudes on Twitter that do that same thing to you guys. Not as much because you're not yeah. really online. Like Nick's not I don't online look at all. I don't so look you don't anymore. look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, imagine for my job, I have to be online you all the time, so look. I see it. It's in my face. You have to look. So imagine if like you had a bunch of I'm sure like people that wanted to be Nick's best friend. Yeah. Who then? Those guys are. Those who guys then? Are cool. It, <laughs> <laughs> you have to say that. So those guys are cool. So they don't kill you. <laughs> what do you mean? I think they're cool. <laughs> anyway, so those are the ones Nick's best friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so imagine if those guys are like, um, well, Nick doesn't want to be my best friend, so I hate him now. And then they like. No, they hate. They would hate me and stop. Yeah. They would hate me and stop. Because yeah. if they ever met him, he would never even, he would lose our numbers. That's what they said. They <laughs> would. <laughs> <laughs> they, he would, he would. Nick would be like, I never believed in the concept of a twin flame until I've met you, <laughs> Mister, <laughs> Mister Diarrhea Shithead, fourteen eighty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Please like, keep doing the riffs from the podcast. I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's cool. so much better when you do it, <laughs> random guy online. <laughs> the worst is when they say something truly just disgusting. Yeah, and then like despicable, and they're like, that's what the f- humor is, or something. And it's like, no, you have to. It's not a joke. I mean, you're not doing a joke. Yeah, you're just saying you're something just saying awful. You're saying something disgusting to a stranger that you think you know. But no, I don't know. People are, are nice. People in L.A. have said to me, I like your content. That's a very L.A. way to People approach People in it. New York say, I like the show. 
People here say I like your. It's content. because it's because it is content. Okay, it's content, it's content <laughs> and and people in New York feel like they're above it because they're because they're show, they're though. the what are they? Is it Nolita? They're the Nolita crowd. Nolita is uh, I, yeah. You know, that's that's where like rich. That's uh, where the girls stuff that go to NYU. Like, yeah, that's where the stuff happens. Nolita. Even though, like, uh, technically, no. uh, was north of Little Italy, that's like a real estate agent term that was invented probably 10, 20 years ago. I don't fucking know. Yeah, <laughs> it was probably a like a like to, to get more money. Isn't that area? Isn't that the area that popped off during COVID? No, no, Dime Square. Or Dime Square, yeah, yeah. Dime Square. My yeah. bad, Dime Square. Dime yeah, Square. but that was like that. Are you, are you Dime Square? No, that was like. Are uh, you Brooklyn? I live in uh, like a Hillary woman neighborhood. No one knows come town. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm just I, I'm an anonymous person. It's fantastic. Yeah, I live in Fort Greene, but um, Dime Square was just articles. It was yeah. not a real thing. Yeah, yeah. It was like a couple bars were there, and then it was, it was like lady journalists who used to write for Vice and had now turned forty, who were like taking lockdown very seriously and saw that there were people partying, and writing freak out articles there were probably 500 either like a thousand articles written about uh three bars and maybe uh yeah and then it but maybe like, like it popped off people, right like there's maybe a, 200 people top but now it's like a thing isn't it now it's on google maps oh my god now dive square is on google maps oh god <laughs> but it's just like what there's there's uh two there's like Four restaurants and Damn, three yeah. bars there. Yeah, I went. I and, went there one time a, to do it's a, the east side of Chinatown. Yeah, I, I went there one time to do uh, Andrew Schultz's podcast. You did Schultz records in Times Square. I think he records. <laughs> no. I, I, I might not know. No. I might. I, to be fair, I don't know if it's like. It's where. Where is that it area that they like shut right. off? What? Wait, the area they shut a off. Like area the they shut off, like the street where they East shut Broadway off. Like people, or, yeah. people like fucking skate and stuff yeah, in front like, of like this. Dime Square. Is that Dime Square? Yeah. Okay, he does like, then. So here's the no, thing. No, it's like on the uh, the East Broadway. Yeah. It's like. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like that is by Seward Park. I don't fucking know, bro. But uh, it's uh, there's it's a restaurant. The lower East Side. It looks very. It looks like like very European. There's a restaurant. Dimes. There's a is there's a restaurant where the people actually sit outside uh, on the street. It's uh, very like a bistro. There's one there's one restaurant called there's one bar called Clandestino, which is like that's like the that's like the the bit if you're like you're like oh yo we're going to fucking Clando's tonight like that's the like the bit about oh yeah let's go really? to Dime Square like that's as a joke. And Mac DeMarco when he was in town, I as a bit took him there. <laughs> <laughs> Which what is it? like, if you understand the reference, it's very funny to bring him there, like to bring the the indie guy there. I don't and, know who Mac uh, DeMarco is. People by are the like, way. people are like coming up to him, like, like brother, so good to see. Oh, you don't know music? I don't know oh, music. He's very popular, very popular indie musician. He was on the show. He looks like a very yeah, popular yeah, yeah. indie very, musician. Very, very popular, huge. Was yeah, yeah. It is very so. Yeah, I guess you didn't understand the reference, but it is very. It he, I, I very assume he looks exactly like the type of people that go yeah. there, though. Yes, exactly. Like this so hat. I took him to the place where it's all guys that copy him. Right. Uh -huh. That's what's. That's what was funny about it. Uh, but whatever. And then guys coming up to him like, "Dude, brother, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> Just feel like Can I say that to you. At Dime Square, people say people say they like the show. When someone comes up and says they like the show, that's nice. When someone tries to do like a fucking gross bit or something about like fucking whatever, some nasty shit, I'm like, that that's oh this is the Catholic. Shit. See, these are all essays and freak out articles by like uh, you know who write, wrote like a really good takedown of what this was, or he made a video about it. You know who Brad Tremell is? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So He's great. Brad Brad did a really good takedown of like what the. He like made a video where he kind of describes how it was just like it was it was a manufactured thing. Yeah, it was also people that were not. I think it's all like pic taking pictures at parties during like peak lockdown because like for me personally, I'll be honest with it. Like I'm, we're probably on different sides. Well, I took the vaccine. I took the vaccine. Of course. <laughs> we're on different sides. No, but I no people. I imagine no. I imagine you were taking it. Like my mother died. Uh, three months into COVID, and then I went back to New York. I was like with my family. She died because of COVID. No, she had brain cancer. Okay, she's not a coward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, 
Um, <laughs> okay. No, um, anyway, no, yeah, she died. <laughs> and I was with my family, and it was really sad. It was obviously awful. And then I went back to New York, uh-huh. and, uh, and I, I had friends that were chilling in a time where it was like, like, you know, in the, where it was socially kind of unacceptable and mm-hmm. people were fr- frowned on it. And I said, I, I want to, you were, I want to chill with my friends. Yeah. You were, uh, you were, you were I brave. said, I'm sad. You, you no, were it wasn't a brave, brave patriot. No, it wasn't brave. I wasn't <laughs> I'm like, I'm it kidding. wasn't like a political <laughs> statement, but no. I wanted to, I just wanted to see my friends. I didn't want to go up. back to my apartment and sit there and be sad. And that's, so that's what I did. And no, I, I, um, you know, and so, I, took, but, I took COVID, I took COVID seriously. I was living with my, I was living with my mom yeah. at the time. Like I, I moved my mom to, to Los Angeles. So I didn't want to like get her sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. From where? Cause she, we're give her her COVID. You know what I mean? Yeah, Go yeah. out, get COVID, give it well, to her. Right. Cause when we're in a small my apartment. And my mom was sick. You know, I was obviously, I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, we were super locked down. Yeah. And then, uh. And then yeah. after after I got the vaccine, I started going out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but um, but people, there's still people who get mad at that. And people get really mad, and it, to some extent, it's like what it's. I mean, like in retrospect, you could tell me if you disagree. But in retrospect, I mean, Floyd, I think a lot of it was just it was like the first socially acceptable time to like to break lockdown protocol. I oh, you are it, you saying that that's the reason why a lot of people like just like. Went out to the streets to go to the streets because it was like for, I think it's comparable I, to like London during the Blitz. Not Floyd Mayweather like, chat. He's talking about Floyd, George Floyd. I'm talking about Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao. I'm talking yeah. about the fight. No, no, it, but it, that's that's what at least what I noticed. I think there's definitely a there's definitely a part of that for sure. For sure. Yeah. No, think, people were like angry, pent up, stuck inside. They got mad. And Mayweather, they're pi- they're pissed. Yeah, bro. This is like I'm the, sorry, you, you want to know at the peak. I can't do these streams. I'm at the ruin peak. Your look, no, no, I don't care. What is this? At the peak of the fucking lockdowns, I was like, is this you? The hornily in VR chat, hey, having going, going to a strip club in VR chat, <laughs> <laughs> going on fucking VR dates, bro. I just was, I was just getting drunk. Are they doing like a dating yeah. show or something? What's happening? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Wait, so this All is right, an actual strip club? Is. This is a strip club inside in of the metaverse? VR world. Not in the metaverse. This is like before metaverse. Wait, did they say there was just a sexual assault in the metaverse? What? Yeah, yeah. How? Look it up. Google it. How? Google it. I saw it. They're like, f- the first sexual assault happens in the met- metaverse. <laughs> but I don't, what? I'm not laughing. I don't know what, it, I don't even know what it is. I don't, I'm going to get, I'm going to ruin your business. Somehow. I feel like you, look, a girl, a girl was girl. allegedly raped in the metaverse. Is the beginning of a dark new future? What? Yeah. Yeah. Nancy Joe sales, whoever that is. She looks like she knows what she's talking about. British police, British are, police are investigating the case of a minor who was allegedly subject to a virtual gang. Rape. Why would she turn, just turn, just X out? I don't understand how this, why would she, that, 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 that's, that's sexist probably of me to say. I don't understand how this even happens. Was it really rape? Some have asked. The comments on her Instagram post were a story about the case in the New York Post were characteristically skeptical. Couldn't she have just turned it off? You have the, the same mentality of I mean, a, like, a if, New York Post comment. I know. It's bad. <laughs> no, I mean, like, but what I'm saying is, is like, it's, you know, you, I'm not saying it's her. F- I'm not, I'm not doing a, she shouldn't have been wearing that. Don't worry. I don't even know. If she was raped in Call of Duty. No difference, of course, is that while Call of Duty players can expect to be virtually killed, sometimes it's part oh, of the no, game, the girl okay, had no reason to expect that she would be raped. Okay, but I, I don't understand, I don't understand how. how. Yeah. Look, there's like a lot of people waiting. Here's the thing. There's a lot of people that are, this is the, probably the one of the worst aspects of, of, of the uh, live streaming. Yeah. And not just this community, but there's a lot of people that are like waiting for you to say something wrong and for me to react wrongly to it. So that they can clip it and then put I, it on okay. Twitter. He's 32. Have, I'm 36. I don't understand how. I'm glad the police are investigating him. I don't understand how, what that so, is. So that's the thing. Like, okay. Hassan, don't reach so out like that. Ignorance. It doesn't matter. Even if I don't reach out, it's still happening. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, what's so, but that, that's at? the That's the worst uh, part about ah, Twitch streaming. Okay. okay. Sorry, Is that guys. like when you're live. When you're <laughs> you live have for. You to do a notes app apology. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I, do I don't. App. I'll I never, notes app. I rarely ever apologize because yeah. most of the shit that people Trump. yell at me are because Trump. one, because I think like apologizing unironically is just, it's, there's no reason for there's it. There's no reason to apologize. And two, 
I don't think I ever do anything that is like genuinely worthy of an apology. Like, what am I supposed you to fucking apologize for buying are. a house? You know like, who you are. You're a nice guy. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I bought a house for myself and my family to live in. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, Socialist, my bad. Socialisms. Um. Um. Wait. So. But whatever. I don't understand how this. Attack in the alleged. metaverse. There is an emotional and psychological impact of victims long term and physical injuries. It's like weird that British people, British police are looking into this, but then real rapes are happening in England, and they're just like turning a fucking blind eye to it. Probably. What's happening? I well, I don't, I don't know about. What I do know is that like they, you know, like if they don't have free speech in the UK, right? So like, if you say a racial slur on Twitter in America, you don't go to jail. But if you do in the UK, you can get arrested and stuff. No, I don't. I think, think so. Look it up. No, I think it's like. I, I don't think you get arrested for saying a slur, but I think like if you no, but I think this is kind of a similar thing, like in terms of. Uh, I think <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I I think it's like, what do you call it? I think if you do like if you show like a swastika or something, you might be able to. If you, you might yes, get in right trouble, in, yeah. in Germany, right? Not, if you depict yeah. it, you can't play Wolfenstein in Germany, right? Because it's against. No, I the think law. they let let you do that. Now. They let you play Wolfenstein, but but I get what you're saying. Yeah, yes. it's like it's um it's something like along those lines, where right? Where it's like what uh yes that that what what is performed online or done in like a isn't protected by speech. Right? Yeah. It's a public order offense that somebody public order offense, whatever that means. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I was like, this is why it's like funny that they're, they're like super serious about this, but then they uh -huh. also have this going on more than 1,100 officers under investigation for sexual and domestic <laughs> abuse in England. <laughs> yes. And they also well, like they, that girl probably is really f like, I fucked mean, up, yeah. fucked up, right? She, I mean, I don't know, but yes, of course. That's uh was that just also just uh just right next to that article? Was that just linked? No, I just I pulled it uh, oh, I pulled, pulled it up pulled from it. chat. Yeah, yeah. There's exactly. also there's also the other chat um saved our asses heavy there. Yeah. yeah and there's okay. also <laughs> other uh there's also other problems with the fucking British Metro police. They like they literally will like throw away valid rape cases all the time. Yeah. Um anyway. All right. If you can get sexually assaulted in the metaverse, you get killed in the metaverse. Yeah, I don't really understand how the fuck that would work in the metaverse. Um, especially when they got like hella real Thank sex you. crimes that they don't pay attention to. Someone said I look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so so you're so you run the commercial breaks, and can you vet who the commercials are? No. What if Destiny wanted to buy commercials on your show? That's what Destiny should. I'm sorry to keep freaking him up. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh that's uh, what he should I don't, do i don't uh i don't think you can like specifically target channels with commercials okay. on this platform oh yeah my girlfriend just texted me she said it's like the movie dream scenario which we watched dream scenario what yeah yeah my you can start commenting on the stream if you want <laughs> she just laughed yeah. <laughs> we let women speak here it's fine no no no. I, well that's the thing it's like um you know she doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. She doesn't even. My, she didn't even know what a podcast was when we started dating. It's the. It's the best. That's possible awesome. Scenario. That's best so possible sick. scenario in the world. Yeah. yeah also, med be careful with your phone screen. Like, think what? about, oh. think about like your worst stalkers, right? Because I'm sure mm -hmm. you have some from the Comptown days, especially. Oh, so it's gonna be like, uh, like it Pop Smoke. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna no. be, we're gonna get Pop Smoke. No, we're not gonna get Pop Smoke, but. And uh, think of yeah, dude. Oh. We're good. Oh hell yeah, we're good, dude. I, we have the Glocky. Yeah, we got the Glocky. Oh, that's so we got cool. the the AR fifteen over there you too. You know, Glock just died. Yeah, ninety two. Hans Glock or yeah. something. Yeah, I can't believe his last name was Glock. Ninety two. Yeah, he died at ninety two. You well, would have thought. You would have thought he like ninety two is not a good age for someone th with that name. What do you mean? Oh, oh, because I mean, he's German and and. <laughs> I mean, Gaston Glock. Was he not German? I think he is German. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no, not <laughs> no, not your fave, dude. <laughs> not your fave. Not your fave. Oh, Gast he's got a problematic past. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. For Glocktober, Glock seventeen fun facts about Gaston Glock, his company in Glock seventeen that started it all. He was in the German Vermacht nineteen. 
44, 1944, 45. He's extremely He's evasive about his World War II service. Okay. And has only answered specific questions in court. <laughs> oh. oh. I mean, that was the first thing I thought when I saw it. That was a New York Times like buzz on my screen, like an update, like a uh, automatic yeah. update. Yeah. Inventor of Glocky just Glocky just. Uh, I saw a tweet got, saying got owned. I saw a tweet saying that like he basically sold the concept as like a service pistol uh-huh. by just taking every fucking police union guy to strip clubs, like really? all around the country. Like that was the way they sold it, and then they all were like, "Sure." What are the other German guns? The Sig is that German? Sig Sar. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm not a big gun guy. They make good ones, probably. Yeah. Probably very anti-Semitic. <laughs> yeah. You need this. You probably need this for all the sitting, right? Yeah. This is like for your back and stuff? But that's why... This man is killing himself, folks. Sig is Austrian. Okay, same shit. You got the... You what is it? What? The Ruger? What? HK? Oh, yeah. The Yeah, exactly. Damn, bro. There's a lot of fucking German... Yeah, they got mad guns. There's a lot of German what's weapon the manufacturers. Chat, what's that what's about? the gun that the guy wants to get for his brother in, in uh, Band of Brothers? He's like, he's trying to get this one gun for uh, his brother. Yeah, the 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 Luger. Is it a Luger? Yeah, I guess it's a Luger. Yeah, that's like that's still used. It's like see, they all know this. That that's still used as a uh, as like a competition gun too. It's right? nice. Yeah. Wow. It's a it, it you it shoots twenty twos right. That's what I I've shot that before. Wow. Someone said, what, a nerd? Yeah, it's it's a Walter. It's a very infamous gun. Isn't that what James Bond has? Nine millimeter? No, the OG is nine millimeter. Uh, the James Walter Bond? PP? No. The Walter PP? The, yeah, that's what James Bond has. Okay. Walter PPK. The PPK, yeah. Have you condemned Hamas yet? Chad is asking. Have I condemned them? Yeah. No, I'm on the fence on this one. <laughs> You're the... <laughs> I, say I think I have. No, they're they're, they're the lesser evil. <laughs> I think I've, I've condemned. I condemn all. I condemn. Uh, I condemn everything. I'm Ruger goth. twenty two is the one that looks like a Luger but shoots twenty twos. Okay, so I I have shot a Ruger twenty two. A Ruger looks like 22. a toy gun. I don't know why twenty twos feel like a toy gun. When you shoot like a twenty-two, probably because you have such big muscles. No, no. Probably because no. you're so strong. No, no. You have such big muscles; it doesn't. You don't get any kickback. For me, <laughs> I got blasted uh, through a uh, nine mm It's got very little recoil, is what I'm saying. Guns are toys. Yeah, I mean, of course. It's and like Men in Black. You remember, he has that little gun, and then he gets blown back. Yeah, that's what it's like for fellas like me. Adam still has yet to condemn Hamas. Uh, I, I I will I will admit this is all right. Well, I'm on the fence me, on this. It's making one. me uncomfortable. I want to. I just want to say I'm on the fence. This is a wait and see situation. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit of a wait and see, folks. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I, I haven't. Uh, what's going on? Are we at war with Yemen or no? Well, I don't. I don't pay attention. The to American. Anymore. The American military, like they did, do an operation. On uh on Houthis, like they killed ten Houthi uh, soldiers. I don't like that. That were on their way to like you know take over another ship, like another commercial ship. But they're still kicking. I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I think it's like fucked that. up too. I the agree. Yemenis, as a New Yorker, the the Yemenis are some of the best. Yeah, some of the best we have. The Hassanabi community is allied with the Houthis. We they have. Were, a, they run. They run all the bodegas in in Brooklyn or in my area, and they are the best. Except my bodega most recently were were two Palestinian guys though, but they and they're not there anymore. I don't know where they are. It's kind of st- I don't. Know. It's kind of sus. Well, what do they do? They go back? No, no, probably it was well not. Before, they can't get it was in before ten seven. But uh, they, I think they went to a different deli. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I miss them. Yeah, it, the they did another drone. They did another drone shit. Oh, okay. So, uh, so the, they're pirates, but they're not Somalis. No, exactly. But they, I mean, yeah. It's sick you could be a pirate. Stuff. I, I agree. It's really cool. It's like a, it's a cool thing that they it's brought back. It's really cool. You could just go on someone else's ship and shoot, uh, kill and be like. Well, they don't kill. They just, like, they just take it over. They say, I'm the captain now. Yeah. Well, the Somalis, sometimes they, I think sometimes they might kill. But I, uh, I, I guess, I don't think so. They don't, they don't even kill. They do, so they do, 
Um, they do it for ransom. That's why the the Marines were started, right? Because of the because of pirates, the, the Barbary. Well, uh, is they the were doing Ottoman white, white slavery. I That's think it was they yeah, like, the, they Otto- like to talk no, about the Ottomans. The yeah. Ottomans. Yeah, the Barbary uh, I think it was pirates. Tripoli, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suicide drones are struck two Israeli-linked oil tankers near the Maldives. Both tankers are seriously damaged by the explosions. Oh Damn. Oh, my God. The Maldives are apparently fabulous. Damn, dude. It's well, not so fabulous not, not so fabulous no more. It seems. Yeah. Wow. Well, so yeah. They just send you the news and you read it out. So you're just doing CNN, but it's just you. Pretty much, yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like talk radio a little bit, but more interactive. That's what I've said. Like it's when like people Rush, ask me. You're doing Rush. Th- dude, that's exactly what Rush. I said. I said I... Like, what I'm doing is, like, Rush Limbaugh for Zoomers, basically. Rush, Rush was so good at that. And he would do it for, like, eight hours, too. Would he do it for eight hours? I think Every so. Every day. And he'd get geeked off the pills. Yeah, he was fucking... He would get... He would geek. He was zooted. He was, he was off, the, he was off the, the back pills. Yeah, the $1 million ransom was paid by Thomas Jefferson to the Bay of Algiers and signed in Tripoli. Yeah. So sick. But they're still pirates. Yeah, it seems well, like they're it's not from the olden days. They're they like they wouldn't do piracy if it like they they straight up were they they're not fair weather friends. Yeah, yeah. like I, I'll tell you that much. You they think were literally they get pissed off at Chinese companies and they're like, "Come on, bro, you can't also be calling yourself that. You're not, you, not you don't know how to be on boats." What do you mean? What what do they call themselves? Like Chinese companies that do piracy of uh, <laughs> intellectual property. <laughs> You think like people that are making fake iPhones think, and stuff? I don't think they ride for piracy like no, that. No, no. I think that, that that would piss me off if I'm a boat kind of pirate. I feel like... If I hear that there are these Chinese fellas not respecting intellectual property, calling themselves pirates, that's not fair. <laughs> I think uh, I think taking <laughs> ownership over piracy and being like, my culture is not your costume is a very right. American thing. Yeah, yeah. Be like, listen. I don't think the Yemeni guys are You guys are don't that. know how to be on boats at <laughs> all. You don't know how to swashbuckle. They got. They know how to boat. They know how to boat now. The Chinese know how to boat. But they don't know how to swashbuckle. They don't know. How to, they don't know how fair. to swing on a on a rope onto someone else's thing with a sword. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't think the Yemenis do that. I'm pretty sure too. they still do that, Hassan. They, they, I'm pretty sure they, they come down. They come down from helicopters now. Have you never yeah. watched a video? It's They're fucking sick. Sick. Pull, pull one up, and then I gotta go to dinner with my girlfriend. Okay, uh, so you keep flexing. Um, I'm sorry for saying girlfriend. We were just we were having a lovely day, but uh, but then I, I mean, called you in here. No, but I, I wait. What are you here for? Why are you in LA? I'm a, I am. What? I'm in a modeling campaign. Wait, which model are you? Oh, is I'm it? I'm not gonna say the brand. Is it you and Jeremy Allen White, Calvin Klein? No, it's not that one. My penis isn't big enough. But <laughs> my muscles are too small. Have you seen that? He looks so hot. But it's fucking bullshit. I do think for this modeling thing I have to do tomorrow, I'm going to stuff like a, a ridiculous amount. Yeah, I'm just, gonna make it look like the it, an actual eggplant in my pants. Okay, you should. <laughs> and I'll have like the French people being like, "What the hell is going on with those your penis? <laughs> we have to tuck it in." They love, dude. You look young and you got a fat penis. This is like the all. No, combo. I have to. I have to construct a fat penis. And it's not this. like, and it's in their minds is like they'll think it's illegal, but it's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's exactly. The, it's the best. <laughs> I do a legal style model. Yeah. Um. Uh, where come on chat give me a give, give me us a, a yemen, pirate video a yemen piracy and it video. better not be chinese copyright piracy <laughs> yeah no we like we're pro china it not, better not be guys downloading movies we 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 like uh chinese that's, piracy here that's Dude, look the at this. worst piracy they painted it and everything oh he painted a palestine style yeah dude they're they're crazy they also do like <laughs> but that oh that's yemen palestine yeah they do um they do like military like they're so broke, it's kind of like sad. Yeah, but yeah, they'll do like military like marches and whatever, and then they'll march over the American yeah. and the Israeli flag. You ever like they get, walk over? Did you get like, did you get? Have you ever gotten a salute of respect or like a dap from the other Hassan? Which one? Nasrallah. Nasrallah, no. I feel like it's kind of we're two, not. Yeah, two we're, Hassans right now playing a big role yeah we're both we're both playing our down part. yeah <laughs> i would say down. i'm doing more than him but you're doing more yeah i think i'm doing more than you're him. not doing those cool skiing videos that he that he has his boys do i know but he's like <laughs> those skiing videos are cool they are cool they're cool those, has bullock cut some white? good ass videos dude. why are they so good at videos let's like can i see the pirates oh uh, here yeah wow, and then they just drop this online and be like look how sick we are yeah 
Wow. And who's owns the boat? The Americans? Um, I think it's like uh Whose boat is it? Chat, who whose boat? Who's the boat? I don't know. I think it's like a is who it is British show, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But they were doing it to like all the boats, basically. Look at that. Was it dude? The return on investment is crazy on this shit. Yeah. It's, it's like three dinghies and a helicopter, and then you like and five guns. You have you have stopped like billions of dollars of commerce. That's crazy. It's fucking awesome. It's and it's like, you know what's wild about it? It's like America's response to this has been more violent than like its response to, you know, uh, Israel Gaza, killing. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, thirty thousand people. Well, we give them, mo them yeah, we money. we keep giving them fucking more weapons to to blow up, and it's like, oh, dude, touch commerce, oh, dude, you're dead, it's done. Um, yeah, wow. I, I'm I'm in support yeah, of the blockade. Boats are they? They probably have like uh, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of shit on there. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Uh, Nasrallah was like dunking on Seychelles, I think. Why is on the phone? He said it was a Amer what? What do you say? That's your boy, dude. Who's that? Rob Reiner. <laughs> That's Rob Reiner, dude. <laughs> it's it's no, it's it is. It's Glenn. It's Rob Reiner, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Rob Reiner. <laughs> He's saying to confront the Yemenis in the Red Sea, they've built a coalition. Look at this scandal. This is an American minister, not a journalist, not a minister of another country. Uh, this is the minister of the superpower, as they call it. Immediately after, the countries which he announced came out and said, Brother, we do not want this, and nobody even talked to us about this. We never even heard of this. What will we gain from this? And they withdrew. One country, then two, then three. And he had to go and bring other names. Uh -huh. Like this one, Senchel, Minchel. I don't even know its name. Uh -huh. I had to search it on Google. What, I don't understand what he's talking What is this about? He's just saying, like, the coalition, like, uh, U.S. Central Command or whatever. Oh, we had a coalition. Then. Yeah, we were like, oh, we're going to go and, coalition. like, fuck up the Houthis. Like, how dare you stop commerce? What, why does he shut the hell up about my country? Did he not see the Iraq war? We had about three and a half countries on that. And D it, dude, yeah, but it was like... Okay, brother, we could, we could go at things alone, okay? Yeah. Uh, he, All right? <laughs> he says he doesn't even know what the fuck the Seychelles is. Turns out it's an island at the end of the earth. He had to Google it. You know what I found out? The There's a lot of, like, really obnoxious Australians. One of the worst parts of New York is that there's obnoxious Australians. Really? Yeah, and they're like, I, do you have any kike? You know, they're like, you know, they're gross and annoying. I never go outside, so... Whatever, I yeah. So in New anyway. York, there's a lot. And I'm like, why the hell are there so many Australians? Apparently, they have preferable visa status because Bush gave it to them because they supported uh, the war in Iraq. That's so funny. And that's why they did do. That's why we have this plague, a plague of uh, of these they, guys. Yeah, they. Um, I mean, I got I got some some uh, Aussie boys that I'm good friends with, but they're chill. They went to North Korea. Oh, they went. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? It's a documentary called The Haircut. What they get? They got bulgogi? a haircut. No, they got a haircut. Just a haircut. Straight up. No yeah. bulgogis. Uh, maybe. I don't they know. Got if they got fire. bulgogis. You think I they should got I, fire. I'll ask them. Uh, Bonchon, like a full Bonchon platter. Oh, this is a barbecue from North Korea oh, that shit. they brought back for me. That's beautiful. It's a gift. That's really cool. Dude, people have died stealing posters. Like I Otto Warmbier. Warmbier, he, uh, he's dead, right? He's yeah. done. He got yeah, cooked. He died, yeah. He didn't get cooked, but he... Poor, poor Warmbier. Yeah. She can't... If you're going to steal a poster, you got to be and better. That's his name, too. Auto warm beer. Yeah. He's got to go around this whole life. The Australian half Nazi, half, <laughs> half, <laughs> half unfortunate uh, version of a beer name. Have Adam denounce Maddie Healy instead. Oh, yeah. One, one hundred thousand percent. You, you denounce Maddie Healy. I didn't. I denounce. Okay. He's Adam. Is I denounce on the fence about Hamas immediately denounces Maddie Healy. The finest man I've ever met. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry, Maddie. Yeah. I denounce. No, uh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, warm beer. That's awful. 
But how you going? How you going? How are you going to name a kid Warm Beer? I think that's the last name. Uh, Auto. I mean, <laughs> that that is interesting. Yeah, you're right about that. In this day and age, it's like naming your kid Adolf. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> uh, my friend, my friend, uh, he told me he went to college with a guy uh, named Austin Powers. No way. Yeah, but that was just his name before the movies came out. And can you just imagine just imagine his life? <laughs> Look at that. I had your back. Why don't you have thanks, my bro. back? Against you. What do, against my enemies. I'll kill anyone. All right, thank Headshot, you. Headshot, no scope. Hell yeah. Dude, the best was Geraldo. Look at that. Adam is a disrespectful schmuck. Chelsea is ten times the person that creep is. That's <laughs> he's a sim. He's, he's a, a white hero. knight. Dude. He's a hero of mine. <laughs> Hi, Adam. You're right. I am not Jewish. Since you found me ugly, feel free to look. never look at me. Her. The ugly Jew is a vile centuries old anti-Semitic tropes. And next time, please just go straight to the ugly and leave out the rest. Well, I, she was, I, was st- I was standing up for... <laughs> she was lecturing fucking uh, Ilhan Omar. <laughs> I remember. And she about anti-Semitism. I'm like, you're not even Jewish. It's <laughs> <laughs> <You're just, laughs> no, a banger. You could say that you could be self-deprecating about Jews. We're all gross. It was just a joke. I don't agree. But I didn't tag you, Chels. And I think you're gorge. I think she's beautiful. How did she? Was she name searching? What happened? I mean, she was name searching. No, you did get seven thousand likes. So I feel like that's probably why she saw it. I'm sorry. I didn't. uh, I didn't. But the worst was that my my uh, my avatar has always been since I joined Twitter, Chris Bosch. Uh huh. And all these like uh, like Hillary Clinton women were like re- reposting the avatar and being like, "You're fucking ugly, disgusting." Like Wait, they were just shitting yeah, just, on. Just Bosch? Click, click on that. Yeah, click on the avatar. They were it's just like fucked up. reposting this and just being like, "Look how ugly you are." Damn, because <laughs> they, they thought that was me. Yeah, I f- and I felt so. I, I, unfortunately, I got him involved. Yeah. Oh my gosh! All right, I gotta go to dinner. All right. Thank you. This is but it has been but an honor, guys. Thank you for having me. And be don't just be nice to this guy. Thank After, you. He gives you so much. Thank you. He gives you so much. He's the hardest working man in show business. I mean, I I, I wouldn't say I'm in show business, but no, it's a little bit show business. I think this is TV. This is basically new TV. I feel like it's is closer to radio, but yeah, you're Rush. right. Rush Limbaugh is the is the you're doing Rush analysis. Damn. Um, all right, thanks for having me. And watch right. uh, the Adam Freeland show. The yeah. next, the next talk show episode should be out in the next couple of weeks. Who is your we're, guest? It's getting more and more ambitious. We were not going to say, but it's exciting. Okay, it's a it is a legend. It, like I'm not I'm not saying that for. She a fact. knows you're leaving. Bye, my love. Okay. All right. Bye, Peace, guys. dude.